Because I know that like the guy's supposed to wear the pants, but like, what if the girl likes to be in charge? Uh, have fun. What? Wait, where are you going? Uh, good afternoon, sir. I need a damn coffee, a fucking muffin, and these two fucking newspapers. <laughs> Okay, uh, right. Um, what? You deaf or just dumb? Do you even speak English? Gamada Boblebo, Habib! I'm an American, sir. You just caught me off guard. Uh, that'll be 720. 720? Fucking, fucking hooker spit! God. Fucking ridiculous, I say! There you go, Pablo. I'll be sitting over there. Hooker spit! See? This is why you need to work afternoons more often. You get to experience lovely people such as that one. This guy comes in every day and we've affectionately dubbed him Mr. Hooker Spit. Well, for obvious reasons. We were gonna call him Mr. Fuck, but that's what we call the perv who hangs out at Estelle's during the close. Crazy Larry. Yeah. Okay, so Hooker Spit, he comes in, Orders his stuff, pays an exact change, waddles to the back, corner slot, sits out, spazzes out, and complains for a while. Oh, hey, I want you to bring him his stuff. Do I have to? You take the order, you experience the hooker spit. Here's your coffee for you, sir, and we're temporarily out of muffins. I could substitute a Danish? Come here. Come, right here. <laughs> Hooker spit! <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Take you to lunch? Okay. Hey, Rory, Trevor got Hooker spat. I gotta take him to lunch. Can you watch the front? Uh, yeah, sure thing. Oh, nice one. Hey, he's really good about the uh, quantity to quality ratio. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Now all you have to do is angle the blade. That's it, that's perfect. Hey, Max. How's it going, man? Good, good. Coming up with ways to combat that. Oh, nice. Anything good? A guillotine. Like the ones in France, except for hands. Yeah, please tell me you're joking. What? It could work. I just have to figure out a way to lure the- Are you shitting me? This may be the worst idea you've ever had. What are you talking about? You're talking about cutting someone's hand off here! Yes, I know. Look, if you steal in India or some other Middle Eastern country, they cut your hand off there. I am just taking out the middleman. Okay, I'm gonna throw something out there for you. What if a little kid or, I don't know, some random person reaches in there? Do you really want the lawsuit, not to mention a bloodbath and a new jail time boyfriend? <laughs> gotcha! I was kidding, it was happy jokey time. No <laughs> kidding. <laughs> no, you weren't. Plan B. Hmm. Thanks for lunch. Ah, no problem. Figure with all the shit we give you, it's the least I could do. I don't mind, really. I don't get much social interaction outside of work. Really? I never would have guessed. I know, right? I mean, I'm awkward and naive. I get it. I'm not stupid, though. Noob, you're not the sharpest tool in the shed. Okay, I might not be book smart or well, street smart, but... I'm smart, in my own way. Everyone's got their niche, I guess. Thanks. Oh, and I just want to let you know that I really appreciate you and Rory letting me stay at your apartment while I'm, you know, looking for a place to live. Yeah, no problem. I don't mind too much. And as much as Rory likes to give you shit, I think he's got a soft spot for you. Really? You think he likes me? This is great. You got the shit kicked out of you in high school, didn't you? Every day. <sighs> Trevor looks off fondly. Mm -hmm.